Okay, let's say you go up into your attic and um, you find a couple of boxes with a bunch of old stuff in it and you don't know how old the box is. But you look inside and you find something that looks like that. And so you figure, wow, that's pretty old. That cell phone's got to be about, I don't know, 15 years old. But then you find another box <coughs> with a bunch of junk in it and you find something that looks like that. And so you can kind of make the assumption that... Um, the, the stuff in that in the box with this with this thing um, is going to be much older, maybe 30 years older, because that's this is what the first cell phone looked like. And so I mention this because this is kind of the way index fossils work. Index fossils are a special type of fossil that helps us find the relative the relative age of a layer and the relative age of, of um, the, the fossils found within that layer. First, the, you know, the most important criteria for a good index fossil is that it lived for a very short period of time and we know when that period was. So we know when we find that fossil that that layer um, represents organisms that lived during that specific time. And so when we find an index fossil, it tells us about the fossils all around it. It helps if the index fossil is common, that they're easy to find, that there's a bunch of them, that we can find them all over the place so that we can find information about just all kinds of different geographic areas and not just one isolated area. And then uh, finally, it also it's always helpful if they're easy to identify for the scientist. Um, but, you know, most importantly, that it lived in a very, very short period of time. And so when we find that fossil, it tells us that um, that layer and the fossils in that layer lived during that period. Um, so that's, that's kind of how index fossils work. Um, whenever you read about index fossils or, you know, someone talks about index fossils, they'll probably mention either the ammonite or the trilobite, uh, two of the most common, uh, most, I don't know, talked about index fossils. Um, I'm going to give you a little, little sketch about it. Uh, take a look at this thing, the ammonite. My drawing of an ammonite is going to look kind of like that, so don't get confused. Okay, so that's my ammonite drawing. And so we'll go here. And so I hope you recognize it. That's my ammonite right there. And let's say we go for a dig and oops, ammonite. And we know that this species of ammonite lived about 300 million years ago. And um, <clears throat> so, you know, what does that tell us about this layer? Right? Well, it tells us that this layer is about 300 million years old and we can kind of make an assumption that the fossils around that ammonite within that layer is also 300 million years old. Um, in addition, you know, law of super, superposition will say that, that, you know, this layer is younger and then this layer is younger than that. Okay, so, you know, that's the helpful part of, of having an index fossil or finding an index fossil. The other advantage, let's say we do another dig and you know over here this is a hundred miles away and we do another dig and lo and behold we found we find um, this ammonite again and we say wow you know this layer it matches up with this layer okay so we might expect to find you know this same fossil over in this part of of the geography um, and, and that might in turn, you know, again, law of superposition, we might try to see if this layer will match up with that layer and so on. So that's the advantage of, of having an index fossil. It um, gives us information about uh, the layer and the fossils around it because we know about that index fossil. It kind of gives us a label that, uh, that we, can, we can, you know, put onto a section of time. Um, and again, it gives us a relative age. It's, it, you know, we, we can't, it's not going to give us an absolute age of, of the fossils around it, but it gives us a, an idea. All right. Hope, uh, 
it was understandable. Hope it helped you out. Thanks for watching.